So I'm just going to share the stream about. People should probably get the notification anyway, but I'll send it out anyway. I think there's any more something down there. Hmm. Just replying to a message, let people uh, come on for now. I feel. Where's it gone now? There it is. So I'm just going to share the link about a bit first. Yeah, two watching. Wrong motherfucking Reza. Yeah, I was playing this one at the minute. Like I said, because um, I am enjoying this one and I'm actually getting further. It's on a harder difficulty. But then we have got Resident Evil 7 as well. But I'm going to put a bit into it tonight, actually. And because I'm off tomorrow as well, I think I'm going to get a bit of streaming done tomorrow as well, which is pretty good. Let me um, share it to Facebook. Right. There we go. Little stand for me phone there. Hope everything's coming through all right as well. We've got a drink as well tonight, actually. So basically, my weekend starts today. So I'm in work Saturday, Sunday. In work Saturday, Sunday, so I've got tomorrow and Friday off as well. So I'm going to try and get as many streams as I can done. Drink every night, you... <laughs> eh, no, it's not every night. See, people think it's every night because football's on, but when City are in every competition possible, you know, it kind of goes that way. Right, so we're on Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3 Remake, and we are in the police station. Now we're on with a drink. Yeah, it's only a tiffle. So we was playing Resident Evil 2 Remake not that long ago. But so we're here with Carlos now as well. Right. Make sure that machine gun's loaded. I eat my daily carrot limit three times a day. Who am I to judge? <laughs> Maybe throw a few bananas in there, mate. What the hell was that thing? Stop worrying about your weight and weight scales, pal. Honestly. Do what you need to do to lose I'm weight and then look at yourself in the mirror and make sure you feel better. Keep looking at the scales, you can feel like you do amazing and then like lose like one pound. It's not the way it works. There you go. I didn't stick around. Uh, here I, we thought, go. I got a thought Brad went past the window. Oh what a shot. Oh shit. I'm gonna walk it off because Jim makes. 
Yeah, walk it off, mate. As long as you're walking and not sat at a desk all day. Which I know how that feels, mate. I know how that feels. I work at a desk every day. And I have to force myself on my dinners. I could it quite easily sit there on my dinner and play games. Like, until my dinner ends. But now I have to force myself to go out for a walk. So, I know how hard that can be. Oh, shit. Where have you gone now, you prick? Come here. Shit, shit, shit. No, oh, fuck you, come here. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty? Take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Ango. Oh shit. Oh shit. I think that's me gone, lads. Yep, that's me gone. Oh dear. I didn't anticipate the difficulty once again. My phone died, so my man misses his phone. Oh yeah, shit, my fucking audio's coming through on my phone. Turn that shit down. There we go. Leave Megan's phone on as well. Oh, I can't believe that fucking happened. Right, well, I should look about for some items this time. Area looks clear. Area looks clear. You've not even looked at it, you dickhead. should do the actual like special forces thing and actually use a main weapon it's one thing I don't do in Resident Evil games in every other game I do it I will always use a main weapon and then go down to a sidearm but when I play Resident Evil I always use the sidearms and then when that runs out of ammo it's like use the big boy weapons use the big boy weapons till you regain that again which to be fair it's not it's never actually done me any bad like in Resident Evil games. But I feel like on this difficulty that we should do. I actually start using the heavier weapons straight away. Couldn't have been a zombie. This is like one of my favourite bits of this remake as well. The fact that you come back to the RPD station. As Carlos. Uh, here we go. Oh, there we go, look at that. So, I mean, nice little burst fire there. No ammo wasted. Oh, come on. Now we got it. <gasps> Oh, fuck. I had played Red Zeev, could be buried the whole way through with knots. 
Well, I do have. I have um, Barry's mod for the first Resident Evil. You wasn't there for that mod, Ash. That was brilliant. First Resident Evil game, playing as Barry. Can't get any better than that. Let's see what we got. Fuck me, I missed it. Yay! Well, you can actually go back to my YouTube channel and look at it as well. If you go on my YouTube channel, it is actually there, so you can see the full Rizzy, Rizzy 1 playthrough as Barry for Barry's mod. To be fair, it's actually one of the best playthroughs I've actually done of the first Resident Evil. So to play is Chris, Chris, Jill, and then actually play. I don't know what it is. And actually play as Barry as well. What is the crack? Yeah, so we're on um, hardcore mode on Resident Evil 3 make. Uh, for now, anyway. So hopefully we can try and get this finished tonight. And then, once I to get this finished, I want to move on to Resident Evil 7. Because I want to play more Resident Evil 7 before the new one comes out. Because I currently own it all for PS5 along with the DLC as well. I try and get as many achievements as possible, and I'm hoping to do something I've not actually done yet, which is complete Resident Evil 7 on Madhouse difficulty. I've completed Resident Evil 7 so many times, but I've still not managed to do it on Madhouse. I got near the end of it originally. Oh, look at that. Swat. Just he is scared of saving that he only ever completed it once, and that it was a one day release. No, I don't believe that. I believe Steve's played it more than that. I think you're talking shit, man. I do think about that about the Evil Within as well, you know. We played the Evil Within on the midnight launch. Well, not the midnight launch, like the day launch thing. And I, sw I swear, like he said that he, he played it once. Played it once. He said he played pretty well. For P he played pretty bad for PC. So where is line or not? But I believe he's played these games. He's big. Oh shit! Oh shit! So, right, we're dying. We're dying. We're dying. We're dying. Right, so we got ammo there. I was on disc with him before he had one save and he doesn't have a clue what he's doing on seven. <laughs> nah, I failed to believe it, mate. If so, he needs to be called out. I'll make sure that he does one. I swear to god, I'm getting absolutely domed here. So I've noticed Rennie's here as well. Like, cheers for joining us, Rennie. So late as well. No Bradley tonight. No Vicky on the secret view on the uh, secret viewing as well. Yeah, seven is class. I like seven. Anyone else like seven off like is purely fucking stupid. Because it was such a great sense of direction and the way the uh, village is going as well. It's unreal. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Right, so I'm too busy looking at the chat to see who's coming in and out. Yeah, seven is scary, but seven is also one of the best, in my opinion. Anyway, it does make it worse. I mean, if you made these games first person, right. This still would have been good, but I still think Seven does have enough within the story to make it scary, even if the rest of them were first person. I've been out at my mates for a drink. Oh, Rennie's on it. Just like myself, mate. What have we been drinking, Rennie? Let me know. Killed those things, I'd be set. <laughs> Drinking the finest of pussy. <laughs> Cause. Oh, nice. 
I'm on the old High Commissioner and Lemonade at the minute. So whiskey and lemonade at the minute. We don't know the way this is going to go here. We need to get to that Star's office, don't we? Carlos, the Star's office is up ahead. Copy that. I'm on the couch. For fuck's sake. Does that mean you Why got me blocked? on your TV or on your on your actual phone? I hope you've got me on the TV. Like kick your feet up, lads. Enjoy what we got going on. Right, hang on, here we go. Not lots of document. There we go. Now even when I played this game, the the passwords are actually still the same. Did you watch a match? Yeah, I did watch a match. Um, been watching it with my dad and uh, his mate. So he's, uh, at least we won. But um, poor game by city standards. Need to probably pick it up a bit. Uh, what we reading on this? I want TV through from cash using the phone to type. Oh, nice. Means you got the best of what? Two one to shitty. Fancy calling the shitty when we're going to win most things. Well, we're winning the league, that's all that counts. Better not. Yeah, better not. See what I mean? Eve D telling you to fucking pipe down. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explodey way. You dropped out the super first. I'm scared to face the best. <laughs> Jesus. Right. No super lead talk in this chat. It's not happening. We're not having it. This is strictly for horror fans, not fucking delinquents that want to talk about the Super League. Right, so we're dying quite a lot there, so we'll use that. I don't even know what Super League is. <laughs> well, might as well stick to that way, mate. Uh, hang on, uh, D, if I remember, yeah, it's D, C, M. Yeah, so I mean, if you don't follow football, there's no point. So, we've got that, but what's that? A well worn key. Let's have a look. I can't remember this. Safety deposit key. Key which unlocks the door to the safety deposit room. <gasps> safety deposit room, so that's where the the weapons are. From what I got told, it's all the best team going together by far. That was the case mm -hmm. already. Uh, yeah, but if he was in the best in your league. If you was the best in your league, as in your country, that's when you went into the Champions League as well as that. So it was a different competition and while the rest were going on. This league wanted every team to leave the league there was they was in. To go to this Super League. And it was going to ruin English football, so... Everyone's gone mad about it. Make sure that... He <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Ah, so it's basically bullshit and made for money. Exactly, that was the point behind it, but all the teams have pulled out of it anyway, so it ain't going anywhere. Oh, what's the thing for this safe? Can we remember? You know what, Renner? It's double-edged sword for you, pal, about you changing clubs, because I always knew you would change, turn your back on Manchester Storm, changing from Manchester to Dublin, because you moved to, obviously, Ireland. But turning your back on City, mate, I can't forgive it. So, if you do that, I just probably won't speak to you. So, and I'll actually set up a bot 
where if you do, if you come into my streams, you will be gone. If I see any evidence that you've missed. Oh look at that, I've just punched a liquor right in the fucking face. Support the Giants with hockey, I don't care, it's not our sport. You know, we do well at it, what we can. Football is our sport, it's known around the world. If you change teams, I just want to speak to you again. So if you want to keep friends, stick where you are, pal. Um, safety deposit. Right, so that's where it is, but I've just fucking walked past it because of the liquor. See what I mean? Because you've got me raging about shit now. Yeah, wow indeed. And that doesn't mean World of Warcraft. That means wow. Gibson is pissed if you change clubs. <gasps> oh no. Oh, you Kojima lucky cunt. Wow, he definitely came out of nowhere. <laughs> I was always to support United as a kid. They were good at one point, but then they went shit. Yeah, well that's just glory on it. With football, you're supposed to support where you're from. No, where you was born at the time. Where you were raised, more than anything. Not where you were born. Where you were actually raised. It would only have been if he have stayed in this Super League shit. I was born in Manchester. And born and raised in Manchester, so it is what it is. I have, I support City. It's a Manchester team, the closest to me. You know, me me growing up, United are in Old Trafford, which is Salford, so I'm not going to support them. I'm going to support a Salford club, am I? And obviously, FC United wasn't about. <laughs> refrain from posting links so is that you posting yourself a shit yeah, that's not the case not loved live on well, I'm gonna go to these lived in not loved yeah I was gonna say love Salford I was about to kick off again then but yeah lived in see I've lived in Salford well classed as Little Holton which is Salford but I've lived in Moston for 26 years in my life born and raised <laughs> I'm not gonna go any different I can move on the other side of the world and still support sir. I'm 23 and always been in Salford. That's probably why United fan then. Well, if you just if you decided to follow football, that's what it is. If you're not a fan of football, then fair enough. You just that's it. Born in Salford, but that's your area. Oh fuck! Oh look at that! Liverpool all the way. If only I could believe that. The fact that this man doesn't like football, so I totally get it. Oh shit. Come on. Hit him, hit him. Northern Ireland are most of the Liverpool fans. Of course they are. Do you not know the history between your clubs? Ireland is a Catholic place. Liverpool and United are Catholic clubs. That's why a majority of them do support United or Liverpool. Your Protestant clubs are Rangers. 
Rangers and City and Everton they're your Protestant clubs so that's the difference seems to pour you know, be Arsenal or Everton well that just doesn't make sense I can say the C word as much as I want, pal. This is my stream, my rules. I will cry if I want to. Dame just sounds better than United and Say. It's not United and Say, though, is it? Right, so you've got 109 for a frag grenade. Have we actually got that? So, one, oh. Chad vs. Dead United. <laughs> this is someone that doesn't know about United, so this is the people that will argue with either. But yeah, he's dead. I'll, uh, I'll give you that one. He's dead. Northern Ireland is mainly Protestant. Well, yeah, if you know your history, of course it is. Want to become famous by followers? No. Of course, Northern Ireland's more Protestant. That's the whole reason that it's separate over there. Ah, there we go. Right, so what else can we unlock on this side? Have we got actually anything else? No, that's it. So we need to go upstairs now. I watched this documentary, to be fair, and was like, bad pissed just about. Drank just about less than you, lad. <laughs> right, comparing me, a City fan who has the occasional tipple, to a United fan who was a complete alcoholic, it's a bit naff. Then again, I'm still alive. He's not. So, that works in my favour. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Right, go on. So... I forgot how he died. Was he? No, 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 no. George Best actually died as an alcoholic. He wasn't part of the Munich air disaster. At least I don't think he was. I know he was an alcoholic that died. I don't think he actually died. Part of the Munich air disaster. Munich air disaster. Yeah, there was, yeah. Yeah, the Munich air disaster. That killed basically one of the best teams United's ever had. Well, probably the best team United's ever had. I think it makes it well. What I know is that George Best was an alcoholic and he died of alcohol poisoning. That's what I thought of George. I might be wrong now. Might be worth looking into if anyone's about. Oh shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. I swear to God. See what I mean? There's no point in me being in the save room now, is there? It's just had me on the way out as well. What was the point in me healing myself? You know what? Load game.
sense. Yeah, it died because it was the yes, yeah, so I was right then. He died because he was a fucking drunk. One of the best players that ever lived, don't get it wrong. But if he died because he was a fucking drunk. Just like I'd rather die a fucking beard than fucking get killed off these guns. I swear he played pissed up as well. In them days, he probably did, mate. You know, it, was, it wasn't unknown. You know, players going over to the sideline and fucking spewing up like mid game just because they'd had a skin full the night before. So, you're not wrong with that one. Say if let's get back on that. I'd just like to say as well, thank you very much for joining me at this time as well. I know it's a bit late, but thank you very much. Football's funniest moment was when Lakaku joined and they put a picture of Storms, I think <laughs> it was him. Yeah, I do remember that. There's been a few funnier moments than that, like when fucking Van Gaal threw himself on the front he threw himself on the floor, like towards the referee. Oh, there we go. So I've got to run away from this. Oh, it's actually a bad cutscene. There we go. Like Aku, mate. You're joking. It's going to be Danny Inns. Big boy Danny Inns is on his way. Oh, there we go. That's what Danny Inns is going to do to fucking Premier League teams right there. That's one thing I can't get that. Why does it take forever to bite? Like that. You'd fight for your fucking life for a zombie to get off you. You won't just casually let him roll about on top of you. Treat my 40 game was a FIFA Street that was a banging game. <laughs> Weren't the official FIFA game, but it was still good. Not getting like accuracy. Eh? It's not happening, mate. Getting Harland or Kane. That is the be all and end all. Right, come on. Right, come on, reload. See, this gun that is actually holding, I actually have an airsoft version of this gun. Time, take a <gasps> oh shit, no, 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 no. Why? It's fucking hundreds of the cunts. Oh wow. What am I supposed to do with this look? Yeah, if Harry Kitt, yeah, the two potential strikers that become coming to say is Harry Kane and Haaland. More Haaland than Kane, but if Haaland doesn't come, he's got to be Kane. Harry, at one point, Harry Kane was in one for me. I've got an AK-47 airsoft gun. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, I've got um, a full one-to-one -one scale M4 uh, scope and grip as well. I bought it ages ago and it's still got it. Fully automatic as well, it's not a um, single shot. It's actually fully automatic. 
Wild Mall and stuff. Kane is too old though. The Kane's not too old, mate. Kane can still do the biz. You'll be right, Kane. Wow. I think with balls this, you know, lads. One at a time, take a number. Oh yes, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's it. There we go. So what was you saying there? Getting chumped, you lad? Nah. We're there. We're done. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Out of there, just tell me where you are. Just gonna open my window I'm slightly because it's getting a tiny bit warm in here. Every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. Not negative. RPG's overrun too. Then figure it out. Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. That is the sound of BS are trying to open the blinds with the old tail. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send. Somebody Still got both your bunnies. Yes, I do. Yeah, the both chilling downstairs. They got cleaned out today. Both still downstairs. Both currently sleeping right now. Very rarely sleep. But we still got your bunny, by the way. I know you've got one. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Please, um, yeah, I never see him asleep. They are a bit of nocturnal, but it depends how you have them living. Ooh, there we go. Full of energy. Yeah, that's like them. It's like they sleep for like ten minutes, and then all of a sudden they're all fucking all over the place. Such amazing animals to have as pets, though. Don't get a cat. Don't get a dog. Get an indoor rabbit. That's what you need. None of this fucking giant flop stuff. Get yourself a, a dwarf bunny. What a pet to have. Right, guys. Absolutely love to play with anything he can. Like, he picks up everything. <laughs> That's like mine. Mine, mine. Like when I let them out, they jump out all over the place. Like literally bunny hopping all over the place. They go absolutely crazy. Yeah, what we got here? You know what? I shall. I refuse. I refuse to believe that, that about Steve. You know. That he's only played Resident Evil 7 once because it shits him up. I refuse to believe it. But the more you say it, I can't remember him mentioning too much about it. I think he has completed it. Like I said, the one playthrough, like he said, but I refuse that he's only done it once. Refuse. Right. I am going to just nip to the toilet. I'll be back in a minute, guys. What's this? Yeah, that's what he said. He's only. Completed it once. Easy. Nah, I don't believe you. I'm gonna call him out on this. I hope he's what I hope he's gonna watch his back.
right, guys. I'm back. Yeah, I'm definitely going to call him out on it, Ash. I think you should get him in here now. Smack him up. Yeah, what's up? Derail. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Get him back on and get him in here. I need him in here for a chat. But no one likes his games late night. I think Rizzy Seven killed him. No, 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 no. Look at him. We're enjoying this one at the minute. Probably a bit too bright on my face. All these lights. But, see what we are. So like I said, this is only my PS5 self, so me. The other one is a bit better. This seems seven is easily the scariest. Carlos? Mm. Come in. Carlos? Oh, I'm glad I said it is my next stream after this game. Because um, I already owned it for PlayStation because I had it in VR. But um, the season pass went on sale today. So I paid £10 for the season pass and I'm looking forward to doing all the DLC again. This shit that happens. The shit that happens is it's fucked up. Oh, fucking no. So that's where you do actually find the shotgun if you don't pick it up before then. And I think we're gonna really struggle there, guys. Because we're coming up to a boss fight and we literally have no ammo whatsoever. Yep. Come on. Come on, Jill. Oh, no. I'm back. Went back and watched a full demo of a you did as well. Let's do it. What does that say? Oh, you actually went back and watched a video I did as well. Like, I really appreciate that because, like, obviously, there's so many places you could go back and watch it, but the fact that you actually went back to watch my version of it as well, so thank you very much for doing that, I appreciate it. I really enjoyed it as well, like I said, I can't wait to stream it. Um, I will be doing it midnight launch, uh, so you know, one minute past, well, I'll be there ready on Thursday. I'll be playing Resident Evil 7 and the DLC all the way up until that date. Uh, make sure to get all of it done, try and get as many achievements, let's try and go to Resident Evil 8. Uh, but once we do... Uh, sorry, I got distracted there. Yeah, once we do get to Resident Evil 8, like I, said, I will be streaming it from the midnight till early hours in the morning. So, that is the 7th of May, it is a Friday. Yeah, cheers Ash. Yeah, so it is the Friday, so if anybody does fancy, you know, the midnight launch uh, with myself, you know, feel free to come along. If not, um, what I will be streaming of it that night will also go on YouTube as well. Oh, shit. Carlos? Well, that's what I mean, pal. 
it's always um, but we'll experience we a new game together Train anyway. Like, I'm so excited for it. Um, on that night as well, I'll probably get some, probably get some snacks, get some food, get some drinking, and actually just sit there in the dark and enjoy Nicolai the game. Left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? You got, you got to have some beer. You got to have something to celebrate. I think I have. I will stay away from your stream so I can play it for myself. You know what? I appreciate that, Renny. Like I said, that's um, totally up to you. If you still do want to play the game, you know, I don't obviously expect you to go on the midnight launch or whatever in live. You watch it all. I mean, if you've got a day release, but you know, if you're telling me two, three weeks down the line, uh, yeah, I don't want to watch you play it because I might play it one day. Then it's kind of, you know, tough shit. But if you want to play it like more or less the week you go out. Oh shit, here we go. Uh, where's that concentrating here now? Where's that actually fucking get some shots in? Yeah, as soon as he says that, he gets fucking twatted. Excuse me. need to be doing what you're taking the part of. Get a mine in front of him. Have you seen the fucking speed he's doing, love? We're on hardcore here, love, not fucking easy. Come 
I need something. I need a green herb. It's too hard to hit while it's moving. Fucking hell. I, I lost, I was doing well there, but I lost too much health, like quite quickly. Come on! Mm. Excuse me. That's not even funny. What I mean, there's absolutely like no need for that. I think we always try and save ammo as well. When it runs around the walls, you can place a mine for it. Yeah, but we don't have mines. So, uh, I said, I didn't get that, but we don't have mines.
I'm just fucking hit the gun here. Again, I was doing well. Yeah, I know what you mean by the mine rounds when you go to there. I was doing well, but I'm getting hit too early. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking total waste of time, though. <laughs> I was there, do I have my round? <sighs> well, I said, it's so weird playing this on hardcore, like I said, first time. Normally you get like this. But... Oh, there we go. Shit, no. Right, so we've got somewhat of a save life there. 
Oh yeah, I've got a new mod coming as well soon. Um, I have Resident Evil 1 Classic Battle Mode, which was released for the sake of time, but it's a standard long mod with uh, slightly upgraded graphics. So that is uh, something I will be streaming again soon as well. Is it definitely um, Resident Evil 7 that you want me to play after this? Is that the game you want me to play? I mean, I'm looking forward to playing it myself. I will be good playing it. Just with all the DLC. I miss all the DLC. Nothing will be the second, on the second remake for me. As much as I do like seven. But I am gonna do all the DLC for it as well, so that'll be pretty good. Sexy ass this way. It's too hard to hit while it's moving. No, we we'll wait for it to stop then. You know what? This is probably the one boss fight I actually don't like. Resident Evil. As I said, the original one was fucking glass like if There's some decent shots on that one now anyway. Shit. You, I don't know if any of you seen the Lady Dim address to so big Lady D, Resident Evil 7. Uh, Resident Evil Village, sorry. She's gonna be actually stalking people like in the other games, so like what do we think about that? The fact that she actually chases you. Yeah! 
Okay, so there we go. So, like, do you think um, Lady D is going to be better than Mr. X? Or like, better than the Baker family? I mean, I think she should be more responsive than Mr. X. And definitely more responsive than Nemesis as well. I think it should be a bit like the Baker family from the footage that I've seen as well. Like, it looks unreal. Well, like the fact that she can just chase you anywhere. And on the next gen as well, the AI is going to be a lot more... Like, a lot better. So, like I said, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for her to start. But I don't think she'll be chasing me. I think I'm going to be chasing her. So like, listen, she'll come out of a room running towards me and I'll get about 99 deaths just fucking running out of the gun gun somewhere. Creepy bastard. Might as watching Jill choke out. Don't like it. Doing that to my bird. Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I. I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. Ash, I'm going to try and get Mr. Steel this time. Us a couple of goes, so get a save there. So remember, we've got no additional upgrades here as well, so even though we've got the dodge and everything else, it's you know, I never played it on a hardcore originally, the harder difficulties. So I'm glad I played it on this because now I actually know the story of the game, it's actually quite challenging, which is pretty decent. Um, Got that, we got that. Don't worry, babe. I'll be back. Tyrell, where's Bard now? We've got to be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. That's one DLC I would have thought I'd done as well, like Bard, like getting him here to this part of the city. Like that would have been a good little DLC. But um, there is a mod coming soon from the Patreon that I follow that apparently it's Annette Birkin from Resident Evil 2. So it is her story about when, basically when she gets bitch slapped over the edge. She gets bitch slapped over the edge in Resident Evil 2. And it's about her story on how she gets back to the lab. Got time for this. Mm. She 
Dude, that should be fucking killing you, one zone. It's like you've got heads made out of clay. Right, so we need a lot of them. We need the code for that door. I said, um, can anyone let me know if they're off tomorrow? I said, if they're off tomorrow, I'm going to make a bit of a day of it. See how that gets going. If anyone is off tomorrow, I said, I'm going to try and make a full day of Rizzi. Well, up until the night time, obviously. Be another one. I thought I could hear it, but. There you go. So let's reload that. No, I'm on one till nine. Nah, I'll be coming off about nine, probably a bit earlier. Well, I am, you know what, I need to do some like, actual streams for like different things, so I don't know what you guys think, so I was thinking of doing a um, like a veteran stream, so like playing all different World War 2 games, you know, to, to donate to, uh, you know, to the armed forces, things like that, and I do want to do a stream, I need to do a stream for um, supporting loneliness across the UK. So obviously playing video games is a big part of that where you know people feel people feel safe, people feel away from troubles when they play video games, so I think doing something like that would be a lot better.
So it needs a key, but we don't have the additional shit yet. I need to do Daymare as well. Daymare is such a main game. Yeah, go on. Do a bit of a save here. One till nine, no running. His, uh, it's a bit of a shame, but I'm glad that, you know, some of you that are actually, if you've missed a stream, you're actually going back and watching it on YouTube. So I do feel really thankful for that because, you know, you could go, obviously go anywhere on the internet to watch different types of things. But the fact that you're going back and watching my stream on YouTube as well, you know, it obviously means a lot. So I, was, I can do nothing but thank you for that. I mean, when, when you told me today, Renny, that you went back and watched, um, the village demo. That was absolutely brilliant that you did that. So all of what I keep doing is just keep releasing content for you guys to watch. I mean, it doesn't matter how many playthroughs we do of a game, as long as you guys actually enjoy them, then that's all that matters to me. You that angry grunt then? That was like fucking Abe's Odyssey. Right, and that's that one. Hmm. I do also have the new Amnesia as, as well to play. That should be pretty good. So, so many games I want to play. And I need to crack on with them. Munchies Odyssey for the Switch. Well, I'm currently playing um, New and Tasty at the minute um, on the PlayStation 4. Well, I've played PS5, but it's on there. Um, I've also downloaded um, the latest one, but I won't be playing that until I've done the other one. I never actually completed the original. See, Bioshock. Bioshock's another one of them games where... I bought the... I'd never played the originals, everyone raved on about them. Uh, so when I bought Bioshock uh, Trilogy, like fully remastered, I got about six hours into the first one and it just lost my interest. Like, I was trying and trying and trying to try and get me through it. Like, to try and enjoy it, and I just couldn't. So I don't think Bioshock's for me. And that was the first one as well that was supposed to be a lot of survival horror. Oh dear. That's what I mean, I just don't think, it's like um, a lot of people keep telling me to get into Fallout. Now I've seen Fallout played, I've never actually played Fallout. I've seen it played, but the thing that appeals to me more than Fallout is Metro. 
if you know what I mean, there's, um, I own, a, I did Metro Redux 1 and 2, and I've bought Metro Exodus, the uh, expansion, and I'm waiting for the, the PS5 version to come out for it, so I can actually enjoy the game. So it's like, I prefer Metro over, over Fallout. So I mean, they're the way hunters are supposed to be. Look at them horrible bastards, look at that. That's the way hunters are supposed to look. I think it, I have also bought it again. Jesus Christ. If it's, it, Resident Evil 4 on the go is always, always going to be a brilliant option. So yeah, it's one of them like well done for buying it. I have currently own it for everything other than handheld because I don't have a handheld console because that doesn't suit me. If I had a Nintendo Switch, I'd end up fucking walking about with it. I'd end up like just plugging in the TV anyway. If they went down cheap enough, I'd probably buy myself the portable one. You know, I'd, I'd probably do that. You know, get the Resident Evil games for that, but I already own the PS4, uh, uh, Resident Evil 4, I own it on, uh, I own it on PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4, I've owned it um, I think Resident Evil 4 is probably, I think 4 and the first remake, I own every copy of. I think 4 is the most one because, like I said, I bought, it, I bought it for the PS2, bought it for the GameCube, bought it for the Wii. I bought it for the Xbox One, I bought it for the PS4. I bought it for the Xbox 360, I bought it for PS3. Countless, countless times I've bought that game. But same with the rest of them. I bought quite a few. You know, it's a good bit of kit, but you know, when I'm sat here with PC and PS5, if, especially with Covid on, if I'm not moving out of this house, there's no point in me. Sat there, playing on a small screen. I mean, what I'm gonna do? Play in bed. I think once everything gets back to, I mean, when I was traveling far from work, I wanted to switch, just for the fact that you know it beat me PlayStation Vita, but I had. But well, COVID's on everything. There's no point in me having a switch. I don't think. And if I did buy a Switch, I'd be taught into buying like Mario Party and stuff like that, just so I could play it with like friends and family. <sighs> God, I went on the wrong side. I use mine when Vicky wants to watch some shit on TV. So why don't you just have your own separate rooms? Even flat with Voldemort at the time. You know what I mean? We had separate rooms for separate things. And that's what it's about. That actual bit of like... Oh come on man. That actual like little bit of separation. These codes for the safes.
Ah, uh, that's, that's me gone. Look at that, he's really fucking for a while. Is that it? Left, nine, right, three. That can't be his rule. Left nine. Oh, piss off. Fucking two numbers. Cheers, Runner. Right, come on, what have we got? Right, so we've got quite a bit of health, so we need to get in and out. Okay now. Oh no, what's he done? That's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Right, okay. So we have that. Cheers for the call, by the way, Rina. Notice that it's fucking looking for me as well. I have nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna have to stab the bastard.
Oh, shit. Oh, well there. so hard to dodge on hardcore like first time through. I don't think anyone like, actually enjoys it. I'll get to the end of this checkpoint the and uh, probably go to bed really. But I'm gonna tank it. I'm gonna get of up early tomorrow. I have connections I'll make sure we have to play. Of course the military and some good games. On projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with I say, oh, yeah, I do want to play some World War Two games, but like campaign, like nothing playing online. But I also do want to do like some more Rizzy stuff as well. So like, I'm really excited. Like I said I would ask that everyone was a C7, so I'll just I might get this complete on my own. You know, play this in between and play seven for one stream. Is it here? T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. <gasps> oh, wow, excuse me. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. Right, hang on. How the fuck is he chasing me all the way? Oh, oh dear.
gonna be okay, Joe. There we go, anyway. Right, well, I hope you've um, all enjoyed what I've played so far. I will continue playing this, but tomorrow I'm gonna. I'm off work tomorrow, so I am actually going to do a decent stream of it tomorrow. If you're not around to watch it, like I said, really, you're on hot one till nine. Um, you can always watch it back on YouTube, uh, whatever stream I do, no matter what it is. Um, I'll speak to you all at some point tomorrow as well. So, take care, everyone, and uh, have a good night.